I'm Brent Porcio, and this is Issei. He's a Japanese trainer for the Oryx Buffaloes, a Japanese professional baseball team. We're going to talk about hip to shoulder separation. Um, and we, if you haven't watched already, we already did a video how the back leg creates propulsion energy and helps drive hip rotation. And then we talked about how the front leg creates stability and acts as a braking force to then transfer energy up. And now we're going to talk about how important it is to load the body against that and separate the hips and shoulders. えっと、前前での like a whip. If I'm going to put more energy through the whip, I have to load the end of the whip back before I drive the energy through the handle. So the same thing here. If I'm going to put more energy through the body, I need to load the upper body back so when I create all that propulsion energy forward, we can then harness and accelerate that energy up. Alright, so after we've generated the propulsion energy and as we're breaking our front leg, we are we're separating our hands and we're closing our shoulders off, we're counter-rotating our shoulders or our back shoulder against this hip. So this this hip is driving towards the target. And this shoulder is countering back away from that. So, and we want to go in this order. We want to pinch the shoulder back. Then we want to pinch the elbow back. And then later on, we're going to load the, the, the hand back. で、この時に、え、肩を下げて、肘を下げて、その後に手を下げます。あ、トリプルエクステンションのタイミングで逆の、え、ひねりを加えます。Studies show those who can create more hip to shoulder separation typically are healthier and throw harder. え、研究によると、え、セパレーションを上手にできている人の方が、えっと、休息も高いし、えっと、怪我が少ないというデータが出ています。the reason you can throw harder is because you're allowing your lower half to create more propulsion energy before you allow that energy to come up. So you're giving your body more time to build energy and then more time to transfer it up. The, the reason it's healthier for your arm is because when you, uh, when you keep the shoulders back longer, you give the arm more time to get into position. When you're, if you're not separating well and everything's going together, your arm's going to get rushed through the arm path and more than likely be dragging behind the back and not being able to go into get into position and go through the full arm パターン。えっと、なぜセパレーションができているかえ、怪我が少ないかと言いますと、え、この腕がちゃんと上がってくる時間ができるからで、これが時間がセパレーションがうまくいってなくて時間がないと、え、自分の腕で引っ張ってこ
to implementing optimal hip to shoulder separation. Separation no dislocate しましては下半身の力が骨盤の回線がピークを迎えた後にトランクの体幹のピークを迎えることが順番その順番じゃないと力がちゃんと加わりません。I think that covers about everything. I find the ones that have a hard time separating, it's because of a glove arm problem. You have two ways to create rotation in your body as a pitcher. One is pulling your glove to pull your arm around, and two is driving your back hip ahead of your back shoulder, and the hip will drive forward, and it'll pull the back shoulder forward. That typically is a better way because the back hip is driving to the target, which is where we want all the energy to go. And the previous one, when you pull your glove, you're pulling your energy that way, which means it's going to throw off the timing and also all that good forward momentum to release, which is like you said, that's when you're working, you're not separating, you're working against hip to shoulder separation. And that can lead to the injury problems and the velocity problems. えー、とセパレーションがうまくいかない人はこのグローブの方の手を早めに引いてしまって開く傾向にありますなので、えー、セパレーションをうまくさせるためには、えー、この、えー、右の、えー、後ろの股関節をターゲットに向かってちゃんと持っていくことその時に肩をちゃんと逆方向にひねってセパレーションを作ることその、えー、2パターンがあるんですけどこのちゃんとえー、トリプルエクステンションをターゲットの方にできている人の方が、えー、より、えー、休息が高いですし、えー、怪我のリスクが少なく、えー、投げることがと研究でも発表されているので、えー、グローブサイドをこう引っ張ってしまう人はそうしないように、えー、気をつけてください。Watch the video on the back leg, then watch the video on the front leg, and then watch hip to shoulder separation, and that gives you a really good foundation to develop a healthy high velocity pitcher. まだ軸足と踏み込み足のビデオを見てない人はぜひそちらもご覧ください。で、セパレーション、このすべてがうまくいってる方が怪我も少ないですし、球速も高いピッチャーになれるので、すべてできたらご覧ください。Thank you. Thank you.